Hi guys, welcome to the Seven Money Show with me, your host Sean. We'll be talking about work halls today. Uh, hope you stay with us throughout the video. Uh, I hope you enjoy yourself. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And check out the links in the description below. Of course, you've probably seen this where Biden has promised to supercharge the government's fleet 40 billion. Wow. Uh, for clean energy push. Now, I don't know if you've seen this with the SEC. Basically, what's happening is XL Fleet, who have links with Workhorse, are basically being picked up by Inca Investments Ventures, who are the parent company of IKEA. No. Uh, oh, sorry about that. We are having more government information uh, sites with work also on and we are moving on. Pritchard, uh, basically Pritchard, who are one of the main sellers of vehicles, mainly EV vehicles, they were given two vehicles by Workhorse. Uh, they were sold two vehicles by Workhorse, sorry. And then uh, they requested more. Uh, they sold them, uh, they, but, but they were so impressed with them, they asked for another three. And then, because after testing them, they uh, asked for 500. Now, after that, they put, uh, they set up two Pritchard websites. One for EV, which includes the workhorse uh, van, just all blank. And one which is just for workhorse because they expect a huge run on workhorse fans and that is good to know and now I found out where well, if you remember the blue workhorse truck that I showed you before that was on a trailer found out where it was going to Detroit and was in Detroit Walmart and Kroger now it will be quite something if they end up announcing a contract with those two now they apparently have back order uh, of 1700 uh, over 1700 trucks uh, so even if you don't believe they're going to get their USPS contract they're still doing well now you look at that with Silicon Valley compared to Lordstown Motors. Now Lordstown Motors have pr proposed to build a distribution center, but they're only using a third of their current manufacturing facility. Why? Almost as if they're saving it for uh, something else, sorry. Now, this is the van being built in Union City 
and as I said before the 10 billion will not require repayment I'd like to see the horse chasing off the bears and you of course the bears have forced the price down because the end of year people are coming out of stocks so they can use that credit tax credit to go into stocks again in 2021 it's a well-known trick and this will be them in 2021 now as I said before Oshkosh is not partnered with Ford it is just a Ford is for Ford trans transit that they've bought and they've uh, they've changed the hybrid to uh, put forward for the contract which means Oshkosh I'd, uh, I think will get less now originally I thought workers would be a shoe in for the 50% to 75% now I'm thinking uh, workers will be a shoe in for 75% and above because it was the full name and the full government contract uh, experience that would have and all the things that Ford had done for the government during the Rona that would grease the wheels. Now that's no longer a concern. So, sorry, my bad. <laughs> what I meant to say was while they're waiting for the workhorse trucks to be completed, remember they've only. Uh, ordered five IKEA at the moment that we know of because we haven't received confirmed news of a contract that if they have put in for a contract uh, it will take time for them to be completed they will be using XL fleet to convert their current ICE vehicles which is why you've seen them pick up uh, shares in there and then no doubt you'll see him do the same with workers fairly soon now a company I spoke about before strike force S F O R and if you look for Steve Cooper CEI and look at this sought after federal government executive and look at all this and when people tell me it's only a penny stock he doesn't know what he's doing you know well you need to look into the team behind and that's that's why you don't just look into the team they have on there no. these guys have a similar thing to zoom or microsoft teams it just they just haven't been selling it at the moment not enough to for them to go ballistic but what happens if something comes out about Zoom, don't, I don't think it will, but, uh, you know, I picked up some more Zoom, so no doubt something will happen here. But look at that. Their liabilities, current and total, 15 million compared to 98 million. Current assets. You know. You've got the you 
I think they'll be okay for the time being. It's, you've got to be prepared for a lot of volatility. You just need a catalyst. Now, it may not do much, but then again, it might be one of these penny stocks that goes, it might even drop, but it might be one of these penny stocks that goes zooming up. Anyway, that's all for today. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment in the box below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.